Hey yo, you will figure out what we're going to do for that cold open next time? What do you mean? You know I haven't because we're the same person. I was just thinking like there's no way we can be out of ideas Stop saying already. we, again, one person. And I'm the third one. Like yeah, dude, that works. <laughs> This isn't the kitchen. Welcome back. It was... Let's just show it's not the kitchen. See? They can, they can see it's not the kitchen. Like that. So, we're gonna make some s'mores. Now, unfortunately, I kinda got into this earlier and uh, the chocolate ended up like this. Um, so we're gonna have to do things a bit differently here. First things first, since we already have the ingredients, we gotta, we gotta find a stick. Don't, don't follow me, go back there. Are you recording? Yeah, I just put it like a timestamp or thing. Okay, we're gonna find a stick. Sorry, I forgot. Stay there. We're gonna find a stick, and Micah is gonna stay exactly where he is. There's a there's a fungus over here, right there. There's a frog. There's a frog. The wonders of the outdoors, eh? Found a stick. So here's the stick. It's got extendable action. It should work nicely. Oh, got one. Perfect. We'll just get like. Uh, just two of those to start. Just smear them in the chocolate. That's good. Maybe this one too. Go on. <coughs> Take this, plunge it deep into the depths of the heat. Just gonna let it sit. You know? Once it's on fire, that means it's good. It's all good on top, but the bottom's still white. So we gotta work on lighting that bit on fire now. Perfect. So when it's nice and charred, that's how you know it's good, because it'll be all nice and gooey on the inside. We're just gonna put it right in the middle there. We'll take our other one. We'll just, just push it right on top. Pull our little stick out. There you go. What if our viewers would rather a less charbroiled s'more and more of the, the lamer variety of s'more? Do I like go into Gordon Ramsay's comment section and be like, hey Gordon, I like my steak, well done. Of course not. Mmm. I guess I'll do one the lame way. Because I know you, I can see you licking your lips. You're like, oh, I don't like char in mine. So I'll just, I'll just skewer another one on there. Captain Ahab here. Try and catch my white whale. There we go. Got him. Now if we're lame, we don't want it to catch on fire. So we're just going to put it in there for a long time. Oh, this time. For mine, it took like two seconds and it was delicious. But sure, if you want to take an hour and a half, then yeah. Why not do it this way? Two hours later. This one, uh... Go right in the chocolate. I know the lamb variety also has less chocolate on it. Well, but it's lamb. Mmm. I mean, your sunglasses are on, so I'm just looking at me and the camera, but you know what? That's cool too. 
That's pretty nice. You're gonna come over here, Mum, and you're just gonna do just like a little. Oh, hey! Except you won't say oh hey. Instead, yeah. throw a slogan right at the camera. What slogan? I don't know. And tables outside. And my brain just went too much. That use that. My brain's mush. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Happy campers. Oh, that was something special. Chef Boyer Drew, making s'mores for days. Oh, why? <laughs> do you want s'more? <laughs> Get cut my god, <laughs> why don't you? You want What's more? Want more? <laughs> Get chef. Made a promise to Scotty that after the first video, that really weird one I did with the pizza, if I got to a hundred subscribers, I would do the hardest omelet known to man. So I wanna see that. I, I think everyone does. Well, I'm not gonna be that pushy. It's okay, I can be that pushy. I wanna see this omelet thing, so like subscribe or something.